Snow and ice are the most challenging conditions drivers typically face, and the tires they use can make a big difference. New cars, vans, and light trucks are usually fitted with either summer or all-season tires as original equipment. Summer tires provide traction in dry, wet, and warm conditions, but they were never intended to encounter winter's cold slush, snow, and ice. And while all-season tires provide traction in a wider range of temperatures, we found they can be a jack of all trades, master of none. In order to better understand how much traction these types of tires provide on ice, we compared them to today's high-tech studless winter tires with our local ice rinks Glare Ice replicating the slippery intersections often encountered during winter. We began with acceleration, comparing how long it took the test cars to cover a 60-foot distance to the center of the ice rink. The summer tires on the red car relied heavily on the traction control to begin their trip and took 7.4 seconds to cover the 60 feet. The all-season tires on the silver car relied less on the traction control to initiate their trip down the ice, but still took about six and a half seconds. The studless winter tires on the blue car relied less on traction control and more on their ability to grip the ice. They took only about four and a half seconds to complete their run. We evaluated stopping traction by measuring how many feet it took to come to a complete stop from 10 miles an hour. The limited ice traction of the summer tires on the red car caused the car's anti-lock braking system to work overtime, and they took about 47 feet to stop. While the all-season tires on the silver car relied less on the car's ABS to control lockup, it took them about 39 feet 10 inches to stop the vehicle. The studless winter tires on the blue car provided the most grip on the ice, taking only about 21 feet 2 inches to stop. The stopping differences were most obvious when you compare the results side by side. Our final test was cornering, where we compared the car's ability to turn a 90 degree corner marked by traffic cones at a little over 10 miles per hour. The red car equipped with summer tires lost traction shortly after initiating the corner and ran wide at the exit, hitting several of the cones that represented a curb. Even the car's dynamic stability control couldn't restrain the vehicle when its tires lost grip. The silver car equipped with all-season tires did a better job of initiating the corner but still lost traction and ran wide at the exit, again hitting several of the cones. And finally, the blue car equipped with studless winter tires offered enough grip to complete the corner without hitting any of the cones. Perhaps the most interesting view is created by overlaying images filmed from above the corner where the paths of the three cars can be compared. When winter's cold slush snow and ice arrives, Drivers often need tires to provide their best traction when the road conditions are at their worst.